Hey, it's Pete from the Family IT Guy here. Today I've got a video showing you how I've migrated my Plex server to the homework computer that I use for my kids. So here, showing the inside of the computer after the upgrade I'd done previously. Now one of the things you might have spotted is there wasn't a drive cage, so I had to buy one from the internet, and that fits in there. So now I can actually put two drives in rather than just hanging the SSD from the side of the case. So the SSD is two and a half inch drive and that bay that I bought is three and a half inch. So I need to put it in a slot. So here is my new drive I bought that's going to hold all of my Plex media. So the first step is to migrate all of my Plex movies and TV shows onto the new drive. So there's my backup drive, and um, what I've done is I've put this two and a half inch drive into my main rig um, as the machine I've got that's working, and I need to format the drive, and then I need to copy all of the media onto the drive. So here I've got a screen showing what happens when you put a brand new disk into a machine. First of all, it's asking you what sort of partition style you want and you'll see here I'm dithering between which one I want. Um, in the end I think I decide to go for the uh, GPT as something more modern. So there you go it's got a drive on the machine. You obviously you now need to format this so that it's got file store so we'll create a new volume. And I'm just going to use the entire disk. No need to play around with those values, they're fine. So I think I changed the volume name on that disk as well. There you go. Tells me what type of disk it is. And accept all of those values and Press the button and go for it. And it didn't take long to appear. So now we've got a nice new drive, lots of space. So having plugged that expansion backup drive in, you can see all of the stuff I'm taking over. I'm going to just to drop it into a, a directory I've created on the uh, new drive. And there's quite a bit of space. That's going to take quite a bit of time to calculate and work through. So it finished. I've taken the drive out of my main rig and I've got it here and I'm about to put it into the new machine. So there it is in that little uh, drive bay. And then the uh, two and a half inch SSD that's got windows on it. And then into the machine. Yes, it's there, recognised in the operating system. So, and it's there. So now I'm going to install Plex onto the machine. Now this is an installation onto a Windows machine, Windows 10. One of the things I also did uh, was I created some tasks that ran, uh, one here at startup to automatically start the Plex server. You don't need to do this on the Ubuntu uh, installation of Plex, but you do on Windows. And another task that I created onto the machine was one that runs at about 11 o'clock every night and switches the machine off. Uh, there's no point in me keeping my server on 24 hours a day. So switch on when you need to and turn off at 11. So now I need to create some libraries to hold all our media. You see that I've created some already.
and also create a link for my web browser so that I can get onto the administration page. So now that I've moved my Plex server onto this new machine, what's it like? Well, I think one of the things I have noticed is that when it's scanning libraries and such like, it is quite a bit faster than the old Core 2 Duo machine. Um, previously, when I added libraries of all of my movies, as I'm showing here, I've got 169 in this library. It did take certainly about two hours or so to download all of the information. But when I did that on this machine, it was all done in about 30 minutes. Um, and that's just compounded, you know, when I look at my other library where I've got, you know, almost 300 that, yeah, that, that, that took in the three hours that arranged previously and that was, yeah, done in under an hour. So quite a big performance improvement for me there. In terms of watching the movies and streaming them to the various devices, uh, there was no real difference here. Um, it works the same way as it did previously. So that's all good. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found some things useful or helpful. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.